welcome back to my channel as you can see the clothes the background I'm in the hospital and today is the day the day that I have my breast reduction um, we, what time are we now see my phone we are 8:35, and um, I arrived here at 7 I had to check in downstairs, fill out some paperwork. I still need to fill out some other paperwork. Then the surgeon walked in and he came and he had to draw some lines. Yeah, and I was sitting here waiting because my surgery is at uh, 1.30. Um, PM. Yeah, they want. They always want us to be a little bit earlier so that they can have everything uh, set on time. And it can be that we start a little bit earlier, but I don't know. Also, I couldn't eat. They told me not to eat from midnight until now. I was like, so I'm just done fasting. And now you guys come with, um, you know, you're all making me fast by force. So I didn't eat from 12 a.m. My, my surgery starts at 1.30 and 1.30ish. And it's like one hour and 30 minutes. And then, you know, you need to lay there in the room and everything. And I will be back in my room around 5. So, and then I need to see... Uh, then how depending on how everything is going i'll be eating i think around 6 7 pm which yeah there's nothing new and yeah i cannot really i wish i could show you guys how it looks because i he was drowning i was like oh but then i was like let me keep my head straight because i don't want that the lines will be a little bit off because i was standing a certain way so um but it was interesting here let me see if i can This part I can show, there's no problem. So, drew something. Oh, yeah. And the other thing is, he told me, like, it's better to go to the cup B. And I was like, why didn't you tell me that earlier? Because um, he told me C at first. And then he looked again, he was like, no, it's better to go to B to have the re results, the better results and everything. I was like, okay, because, yeah, I'm not planning to do this again. So, just do whatever you need to do. It will come back anyways. It will be big every time anyways. And you know, there's no problem. But um, if you told me earlier, I could have bought another bra because now I have the cup C. Then he said, yeah, I need to see if you can still exchange it. And he said he will see if they have cup B uh, size over there. But then I saw in the mirror that I guess this is for the cup. And I think this is for the measurement that they took. But the light is going all the way down to my belly and all my twins and everything so this is basically how the best that i can show you guys so um this thing he said after 15 minutes it will come it will not come off i said oh no oh it has something though well let me just not touch it so um, now i'll continue filling out my forms and i guess just wait i will edit some videos um, that I really want to post today normally by now that this the video is already out, but it is finished But the thing is in the shopping center where I was there was some music in the background So I really hope that they will not have the copyright things, but I think so so I need to put some music on the underneath But I don't like to sounds clashing like the music sounds 
from the shopping center and also the music from you know that I'm putting under I'm not sure how it's going to take I will just try to do that see if I can still post it like that otherwise I need to cut a lot of things out and I don't know I put a lot of effort in my videos if you didn't see it yet you can go back and uh, check it out yeah so more information about um, the preparing from the surgery also the uh, private album release party that I got invited by Natalie Makoma is also part of it and yeah so go check it out y'all I will keep on vlogging throughout the day I really don't know how, how it's about to be when I wake up I hope that around the time that I'm awake and that I'm able to vlog or like grab the camera they have like a little safe over here so I was planning to put my camera and everything in here so I think I'm going to do that and when, I'm, when I need them I will ask the nurse to grab it for me like how much I weigh I don't know I don't know but the last time I checked I lost some weight so I don't know because the last time that I weighed myself it was um, I think the day that I had to give birth and it's one year ago and one year two months ago let me just write down I lost some weight Are you pregnant? Nope. Are you breastfeeding? Nope. So right now I'm editing my videos. I am so tired y'all. Because yesterday I went to sleep. Um, I went to sleep at 2 a.m. And I had to woke up at 5.30 and um, because I was cleaning up because throughout the day I couldn't do anything because my son didn't feel good so he was following me around the whole time crying a lot and everything so I was like you know what I will try to spend as much as, uh, time as possible with him also because for the coming six weeks I cannot really pick him up and all those things so i thought okay let me just spend some time with him and focus on him and afterwards i will you know clean out the house and everything and just pack i'm just gonna sleep before one night so i was like you know i can pack the same day the day before clean up the whole house and everything just make sure that everything is left good because afterwards i cannot do anything anyways even though my mom is coming over and staying for a whole week but I was like, let me just do this, then I have my peace of mind. But I ended up sleeping around 2, waking up around 5.30, and I'm just tired. But I was like, it's also better somewhere. I did also purposely because I felt like if I'm sleepy, then I come over here, then I can, I can sleep throughout most of the things, you know, because you can be here bored by yourself and everything. Let me just make myself as tired as possible. But then... A few minutes ago, I was thinking, okay, they will put me, uh, give me the anesthetic, anesthetic, anesthetic. I will just put it down. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I was like, what if I'm supposed to wake up? But because I'm so tired, my body will still be on sleeping mode. Because usually, when they are done with surgery, they leave you in your room, not in this room, the other room, and then when you are back consciously, they bring you to your room. They need to check if everything is good. But what if I don't wake up? earlier because I'm just tired I'm not sure I don't know but now I'm editing my video the vlog let me turn the camera off I'm editing vlog So I'm at the 
So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And yeah, I will continue editing. Hopefully I'm done with this before I go to surgery. What time is it now? We are just 9.30, like just 9.30 y'all. So I have a few hours. Okay, y'all, I'm finally done Ooh, with editing. I am tired. I feel like if it is tired, it looks tired, then it probably is tired. You know, I'm just tired. <laughs> like my eyes. And I'm uploading the, um, the vlog. And I feel like I'm having a cold. <laughs> I'm having a cold, my nose starts to get stuffy again. I'm like <laughs> filling up my nose the whole time because my son he's like a little bit it's so weird with the cross over here. <laughs> my son he feels uh, a little bit unwell. And you know, I was, um, most of the time I'm with him cuddling, giving kisses, you know, and other stuff and I'm like you know when you are, you are in pain and um, you start to feel every single thing and every single muscle that you never thought of using and I'm sitting here looking at myself being like and I'm like I don't know how that's going to be after the breast reduction so this is like the worst timing ever to catch a cold but yeah anyways I'm exporting the video I think I'm about to take a nap the only thing that would be perfect right now if I could eat, if I were just laying here and eat because it's been a long time since I've been sitting and not to have, not doing anything. You know, gotta understand I'm like a full-time mom, wife, I work full-time, even doing my work, I edit videos, then I have my own music career that I'm working on. I'm also a choir member, so I need to rehearse my songs and make sure that I know them by Sunday. Then I have my own vocal lessons and everything that comes with it. So I'm every single day busy. Mind you, doing this with public transportation and it takes like a good two hours of my day. Two hours that I don't have. Um, I don't know if I already told you guys, but I already passed my exam. And I'm a practical one but the other one and um, yeah that's going well I also did it between everything that's going on but God is good God is great I'm not complaining because I know everything is just going upwards only God I have other testimonies for you guys the past few weeks been crazy but God is just so amazing I cannot wait to share it with you guys to encourage you guys and um, yeah, I'm about to take a nap right now. Oh, and the other thing, I don't know, you know, I knew, I knew that I will go to cup C because it's one thing to always have cup E. But then I, I went from E and after during my pregnancy, I went, it went to H. And now I knew I was about to go to C because I felt like, okay, C is not too big, not too small, it's just perfect. But now I'm going to B. I don't have anything to people who have cup B and everything but I don't know how I'm about to feel look like and I don't know how I feel about it right now because I was not mentally prepared a few minutes ago when he said it I was like okay yeah sure no problem and as long as it looks at best and I feel good I can move like I want to jump if I want to can perform and everything but now I'm like B I don't know how I feel about that yeah I really don't know but yeah I guess it's already written on my body so it's already about to happen but B B oh god help us help us I am um, <laughs> I was still thinking sorry uh, I will just like the nurse is starting to kick in slowly but surely 
and then I will feel my first impression. I will look while I'm filming. <sighs> okay, let me just let me just calm my nerves and go to sleep. Look at this. Look at this. I feel like a cow that is about to get you know. Okay. Normally my husband is with me when I'm in the hospital, when I'm giving birth, when I have my surgery. He's always there. Only today he's not here because he had to go to work. I came here by myself and I'm like... Okay, but no problem. God is here. Jesus got me. My, my CMR church family already prayed over me. My husband prayed over me. And my pastor, everybody. So, yeah. We good, we good, we good. It's just like we good. Good. <laughs> Who sent me to do this? Who told me to do this? Oh God. Okay. I see you later, guys. So the surgery is over. Um, I feel actually quite okay. Um, when I just when I just uh, stopped filming the first part, when I told you guys like I'm about to go to sleep and stuff, like literally like a good two minutes after somebody walked in and said that it is my turn, he came to hours earlier so I was like okay, no problem I uh, prepared myself put everything in the safe and then went over there and then they brought me with this bed all the way um, to the hallway where I need to wait until it was really my turn and um, yeah then I was there and uh, they put the infuse and everything and the anesthetic um, then I fell asleep then I woke up didn't know where I was <laughs> and it was already done it took the surgery itself it took one hour and 30 minutes um, then I woke up and, and I really felt like I had to pee before I left I went to the bathroom because I remember from my last surgery that I really had to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom before, but when I woke up, that was also the first thing that I felt that I need, that I had to pee. And I was like, great. But I think it's always, it's always going, uh, going to be like that. Um, then he put some, he shoved something on them, underneath me. Like, it, it is not this. This one is for if you need to puke, but it kind of looked like this. And then they shove it underneath you so that you can try to so that you pee lying down uh, but of course the first few minutes it doesn't really come because you're just not used to being like that so it's everything is a little bit mentally um, I tried two times and then afterwards I could and um, after a while when they said saw that everything's going great they brought me back to my room I fell asleep a few times. I was like dozing off the whole time. I woke up, dozed off, woke up, I fell asleep and stuff. Then when I really woke up, um, I asked for a glass, a glass of water because I didn't drink for, yeah, I didn't eat since um, the day before, you know, at 12 because I couldn't eat, right? Then I drank, but I started feeling nauseous. And uh, I had to throw up a few times. I know it's a little bit TMI, so if you're that person that you feel like maybe you should just <laughs> pass forward a little bit. But um, I threw up a few times. And yeah, even with the pain, I'm not kidding you, the pain is on a scale from 1 to 10. A 4? Maybe a 4. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't really hurt at all. Of course, you feel like you 
you feel that you had surgery, but the pain that I feel is more like, you know when you've been to the gym the whole day, and the next day the pain, but that good type of pain that you're happy like, okay, I feel something, but you know, I did something like, I did something good. That's the same pain that I feel underneath, like over here. And in the beginning when I just, just woke up, the first 10 minutes maybe, I felt a little bit more burning sensation. That was before I think the meds truly kicked in and everything, I think so, I don't know. Um, but um, yeah, that's basically it. I, did, I still didn't eat since I came here. So since I left my house um, the day before midnight, which day was it? So since Tuesday night, well, I actually it's already Wednesday night, like Tuesday to Wednesday night. Um, I didn't eat, and the only thing that I keep on that I'm still drinking is this one. This is my best friend. This is what I'm still zipping on since I can drink because I was throwing up. I felt like when they when they put on the light, not this one, but the bigger one. I felt nauseous and I threw up. When I was on my phone, I felt nauseous and I had to throw up. Um, what's this? You? I don't know if it's my blood or not, but it's not okay. Because I was sleeping and a few times I woke up uh, because I felt nauseous and then I had to throw up like I think four times. But even that part was not that bad. Because I was scared not usually when you didn't when you don't eat and you throw up at the end, you know, because your your stomach is empty. It kind of hurts, but even that I'm happy that it didn't. And um, yeah, let me see if I can show something. And now they put this. I wanna go wait for because it, uh, my nipples are kinda out. <laughs> This is how it looks so far. So, I didn't have the chance to really look because uh, they told me that I cannot walk. I just, um, I can walk from tomorrow. So tomorrow I will walk to the bathroom just to see from what I can see, you know, in the mirror. And yeah, I cannot wait to see it. And also tomorrow, the uh, the surgeon will come again to see what we can do because um, just like I told you, I, s I bought the medical bra in cup C, and they didn't have it here in cup B. And he said that we can shelf some things to still use the the medical bra with the cup C. But I truly want to be one because I feel like I bought. I paid like 96 euros for uh, for it, and I can also use it for something else. I think I can also use it for gym or something because it was just very comfortable. You can, you know, zip it down everything. So, uh, or otherwise, I can just wear it at home if I feel like it. I think I don't know. I don't know how much pressure it will bring, but I feel like I can take it. Uh, like I can use it more often. But when I use it, I want to have it in the right size. So. Mm, I will see about that. So that's basically it. Everything is good, it's a little bit swollen, but on a good way. Uh, I think they took off this here. Okay, if you are somebody who's sensitive with blood and everything, just close your eyes for a good. I will tell you, I will let you know when you can open your eyes again. But here, 
I have this one. I don't know if they took it off already. This, the blood is coming out underneath my breast. And it's coming in this thing. I have it on both sizes and on both sides. So, they will come later on. open your eyes now <laughs> they will come later on and take that off take this thing I'm gonna put it take this uh, thing off and then put on the bra that, uh, that I bought for you know the medical bra put it on and yeah then they will explain to me uh, because next week I need to come back for consultation um, because if you're doing physical work, then you need to stay at home for six weeks. But I don't do physical work, I work behind the desk. Uh, he said that you need minimum, minimum two weeks. And afterwards I can go to work if I want to. And um, but next week I need to come back so that they can see, check up if everything is still good. Everything is going right. But they asked me to move as less as possible don't move too much you cannot carry heavy weight i cannot carry my i cannot pick up my son i cannot clean up the house and everything like that and that's for six weeks that's for everybody even driving not that i drive right now but for information if you want to drive a car you need to wait at least one day um my church member said that she drove after two weeks but i don't know you need to see for yourself i guess i heard somebody say for driving you you need to wait wait one day but on my paper that i read it's not that the, the surgeon didn't say that but i read uh at least one day so i don't know Child, at this moment the struggle was real y'all i was so nauseous at the same time i was hungry because i didn't eat for two days my body was shaking but you know i still had to keep trying to get that food in because you know you go left to eat the struggle the struggle <laughs> it's so hard to eat i'm still at my first bread and like it's very hard to eat as well and I feel like I'm getting, I'm not sure, I think that I'm feeling a little bit nauseous again. So I'm gonna take my bread out and the rest I will keep underneath. So the nurse came, and now the sun is coming out too. The nurse came and, um, let me go backwards. She cleaned everything up. She put on my medical bra, the one that I bought uh, two days ago. And um, yeah, I'll see until where I can show. It's, it looks kind of like this. And yeah, I'm happy with it. I I went to the size B, 
it's like this bigger the bigger bee but right now it's a little bit swollen so it will be a little bit smaller but when i lick myself in a hole like when i lick myself in front of the mirror i'm very happy because now it looks like i lost even more weight because the way everything was it just made me look a little much bigger but now you can really see my own figure and i'm happy with it and it's so weird because normally is i feel like a lot of weight but now i just feel much lighter so it's not like i'm carrying you know carrying stuff but now i just feel lighter so yeah so far so good i have no complaints it doesn't hurt that much just like i said it feels like as if yesterday i was in an intense workout that's how it feels um it depends also which kind of movement i make and sometimes i feel a little bit kind of a burning sensation but i feel i feel pretty well but i i cannot really walk like that yeah and i can walk but they suggest me to sit a lot and just take it easy don't do anything but just sit and you know if you need to go to the bathroom go to the bathroom if you need to eat something eat something you cannot really take full showers just clean yourself up and uh, that's the only thing that i can do that's uh, the, i need to do i need to do this for a few days actually especially those few days that, I, that just happened because it's the first morning waking up with my new set of twins but um i need to do this for a few days few weeks and with the time i can you know start to do uh, start to do other things and stuff we are now 9 a.m um 9 9 and they told me that i am free to go back home Mm, so I will sleep a little bit and then go back home also my husband is done with work at 4 so as I will see maybe I have a friend of mine pick me up if she's not at work right now otherwise I will just sleep my sleep myself through it all because I'm very very tired I just FaceTime with my mom and my my son they are doing well and I look I miss my little munchkin he was like mom 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 like, oh my baby munchkin so um yeah that's it i don't know what this is but this is cold and i guess Oh, I can't open it. I cannot open it with one hand, but this and a glass for water, but the water I'm not touching because it makes me nauseous. And I'm still zipping on the same one that I was zipping on yesterday. I don't know, I don't expect anything much from it, but you never know. try to see because sometimes you know when you eat and something fall, falls in there I start to see maybe I should just eat like this because I'm so tired I'm sleeping the whole time potato with carrots and some white white sauce and um some type of fish now i'm sitting down right after 
little bit pressure here on both sides but I guess that's normal because I was laying down the whole time several days later hey everybody so today is a new day we are Monday and I had my surgery uh, Wednesday so it's like a good five days ago wow five days it's five days ago because i didn't even notice we are we were five days later because i'm not even gonna lie i've been sleeping through these days because i had my surgery on wednesday uh, afternoon and then i slept i stayed at the hospital like you saw one day and then i came back home so actually four days since i've been filming and i was planning to film but i was just so tired i was tired I've been sleeping only thing that I've been doing is sleeping waking up taking meds go back to sleep waking up taking meds yeah eat uh, taking meds clean myself up go back to sleep because I've been so tired I'm not sure if the medication is also making me tired but I've been sleeping through it all um, and also in the early morning spraying with church and then go back to sleep that's basically what I did these days because I couldn't really walk like that let me see my where my phone is because I wrote down certain things because I was like, because I was like, okay, I'm not, um, maybe I'm not filming everything, but let me at least write everything down so that I can still bring you guys back to how I felt at the moment. So, yeah, it's, it is a journey, yeah? It is a journey. And, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, I was tired, like I said, I was so tired. My body was very shaky, very tired because... I couldn't eat I was throwing up in the hospital even at home I couldn't really eat and I had to throw up like it was just a lot so the first night I had to sleep I'm so happy that I have my uh, my baby sleep pillow I'm not sure how you call it I'll put it down here but I already had it when I was pregnant I was using it so I can use it right now it's really helping me out because that's my best friend right now the only way that I can sleep is on my back and I'm not really a back sleeper because if I sleep on my back the whole night, my back starts hurting. <laughs> so that's the thing that I noticed. As for me, it is the hardest. Okay. So warm in here. I need to go fast. I do fast and go and sit down because I don't feel very well. I feel a little bit nauseous still. Um, I think because of what I just ate. But um, what's going on? Yeah, I was speaking about it. I had to sleep on my back the sleeping on the back part is killing me it's really killing me when i want to turn because i remember when i just woke up uh, after surgery when i was laying in the hospital because when you just had surgery they they put you in a room um that they can still see how everything is going before you before they bring you back to your own room and um so i remember just waking up and i didn't realize that i just had my surgery so i was trying to turn around but like, no, no 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 don't do that don't do that i was like oh I said, I said, did, did surgery happen already? They said, yes. Then I fell back asleep. But yeah, um, sleeping on my back. I could not wake up by myself. I had my husband, he had to help me stand up. He had to pull me up. Um, he had to pull me back up. And afterwards, um, okay, this full house thing is not really working. In the early morning had to pull me back up i cannot really lift up my arm arm like this because i need to make sure that over here that over here that i don't you know rip it how terrible it sounds <laughs> that i don't rip it and stuff and um so he helps me and my mother is also here for a few for a week she helps me with putting on my clothes but usually i'm just walking around with my, with my flannels more easy and just with this thing on and this is the one that I bought the other day okay wait this is what I bought the other day so usually I just walk around with this and my flannel Oof. the second night I slept way better like way 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 better way better and um, throughout the day I'm usually just laying down uh, I'm usually just laying down at the couch uh, or like when I wake up in the early morning because I wake up because my back is hurting around 6 6 30 then I just wake up and go to the living room put my pillow down and just sit there and the whole night and my mom my mother 
my mother is taking care of me, bring me meds, something to eat, water. And um, I cannot I cannot pick up my son. There's something else that's a little bit like because I notice my son is missing me. I'm also missing him. Sometimes I want to pick him up. I'm like, ah, oh, I can't, I can't. But you're so cute. So um, a lot of times when I when I notice that he really needs my attention, that he really wants to put his head head on me, I just take a pillow, I put it under me, under my arm, so that I can still have him. Sometimes I just put him on my lap. But he a lot of times he want to put his head on my chest and stuff. And then I put a pillow between us so that he can still have a feeling that I'm holding him. And um, that's the only way that I can hold hold him actually. I cannot really put him on the on the couch because they told me I cannot pick up my son. I cannot I cannot clean up the house. I cannot pick up grocery uh, groceries. Even the day when I walked home from the hospital because my husband he parked a little bit further. So we were walking through because I thought when I was done because I told you guys I don't really feel the pain like that and you know the feeling weak is with ups and downs so I told him like because our anniversary was also the 9th of uh, September So I was like let's go to the movies. Let's do this. Let's do that. Then I was walking around like a zombie I was like Ugh. One step at a time. I felt like I was about to faint. I was like, okay, you know, okay you I really thought I would be able to pull it off but it is really with the roller coaster of emotions. Then it's going well. Then I feel a little bit sick and tired. Then I sleep. Then I wake up. I eat. I feel alive. But then the meds start kicking in or something. Man. Long story short, I cannot do anything. I'm just laying down, sleeping, or sitting down. Every single day, I feel better. It is the pain is very much okay. The pain of the surgery itself. When I woke up, I can say I had a. Uh, pain maybe um five or six uh, like the scale to one to ten is like a six uh five or six with meds also but it's more like a burning sensation than really having pain and just like i said it's a feeling like i have it i had an intense workout and you know the day after that's a little bit how it feels like but it really depends which movements you are making if i make a, a type of movement that I shouldn't do then I feel a little bit pain then the burning sensation come comes back much more but otherwise I'm good I cannot complain the other surgery that I had a few months ago because I had some stones uh, that hurts way more and even after giving birth that hurts way more so maybe you're like okay maybe for you it doesn't hurt that much because you already been to the surgery and giving birth but even inside of giving birth this surgery the breast reduction it doesn't hurt but the thing is um when i was doing my my research i noticed it really depends which surgeon you're going to because other people said it hurts it depends on the type of person that you are it depends what you do because some people do the best breast reduction but also some also some liposuction over here and that part my surgeon said it hurts the most because he asked me if i want to do that i was like no especially when he told me it's going to hurt the most i was like i don't try to hear it and i try to hear it i don't try and i try to hear it so um so that's also a part that you need to take into consideration because if you do those both that's the part that hurts uh, like the most because that's really liposuction i explained a little bit more in my previous video uh, which video was it mm, i'll put the title somewhere um on that video i explained a little bit more about the cost the prices if you want to know about the prices from the breast reduction you can go ahead and look at my other video so like i said you need to do your research because the girls that went to my surgeon they both said that it didn't hurt like that even my surgeon he was telling me the whole time it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt i was like mm. but he said that really doesn't hurt is he like is this still a surgery but it doesn't hurt at all and uh he kept telling me that so i was i put in my head like oh, okay i got this then the other day i spoke to a church member of mine she did it at a whole other place and she how she explained it to me it, it sounded more painful so then i started stressing a little bit like oh my god maybe i put it in my head too much that it doesn't hurt that it does hurt but um but she she, cause she told me also yeah you will not be able to walk and everything but for me to not be able to walk part is because of not really having the energy and i'm not and i think because i didn't eat for a good two days and i had the meds that i was taking because i was throwing up because when i just went be uh the day after when they told me i can stand up 
I walked around and everything and I felt good. I felt good, even less heavy. If I'm telling you the weight that's literally coming off my shoulders, it is just crazy. I look lighter, I feel lighter, I feel younger, I look younger. And um, if I say so myself. And, uh, and even when I wear a, a dress, I, this Sunday I wear a dress and I look like totally different. So, and even uh, somebody noticed, he said like, you are sitting way more straight up. Because I was saying this to myself this Sunday also. I was like, wow, you're sitting very straight up. So the weight that came off, I'm just happy. I just feel new. I feel reborn. I feel like I can make a lot of movements. I can run around with my son. Not really running right now, because, but I know like I feel more flexible and everything. But the only thing is just like I told you guys, I came from the, the cup E all those years. Then I went to H because of pregnancy. And now I went to B, like A, B. Once again, I don't have anything against people with the cup B, but for me, it is just a way different. Like there's a whole, a whole other, other situation going on right now. So for me, it's something I need to get used to. Even now, it looks a little bit bigger because it's a little bit more swollen. But um, yeah. So what we're about to do right now, I'm about to take, um, take, you know, these pads out. Uh, because I need to change them because I have them for a few days change to another one and then I'm going to see my new pair of twins for the first time I'll just film my, my own my first reaction uh, of course you guys cannot see anything <laughs> but I'm just curious to see how they about how they are looking like I have no clue what to expect so I've been peeking a little bit like you know trying to figure out what I can see but I didn't see them like in the mirror looking like that and everything so let's go to the reaction <laughs> 